Bro, not only do you suck at playing the guitar, but your guitar is just a mess. Bro, we're mid video. What dude, the I no, 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 forget the video, what? dude. Do you see this fretboard? It looks nasty. What's wrong with look the Look at friends? the grime. No way. Dude, look at your actual fret. It's what? no, dude. Are you even in tune? Are you even in tune? Bro, your screws are rusted. I tuned it two days ago. The body what? is full of finger, but no, dude, no. no. You're filming a video with the guitar looking like this. No, what? no, what? no, 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 please, no. <laughs> okay, we're good. All right, anyway. <laughs> All right, so I guess that was a very interesting intro. Yeah, Obviously, man. Yeah, yeah. emotions, feelings, all over the place. I, I got hurt. I don't know. This guy raged all over the place. But, you know, besides the whole skit, it's also very important to keep your equipment uh, maintained. I regret say. nothing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so besides... Uh, you know, besides playing cool and everything like that, it's also great to keep good care of your equipment. Right now, we exaggerated. I know this camera is going to get it, and so will this one. We exaggerated right now. If you look at it from certain angles, I don't know, for this camera, maybe if I were to do this, maybe you'll see the grind. The yeah, hopefully the glare picks up all the finger. I know that you'll definitely that. see it because we have some lights here, so you'll definitely see it, especially if you're someone who plays on stage on the gig. Uh, lighting will always shine the, the oil and stuff like that and yeah, it's man. a normal process don't don't feel like oh I'm the only one who doesn't clean their guitar or have like the cleanest of everything you have to maintain your stuff so let's talk about a few products we've accumulated over time I'm gonna start first since I've already uh, uh, started talking already so first things first um, sure. a lot of your guitars are gonna bring uh, certain uh, equipment, certain tools, because in order to get into the tiny spots, let's say for this, or if you want to get in between here or stuff like that, or if you're trying to adjust your truss rod, which I don't recommend, if you don't know how to do that, do not touch it, right? So I have a little bag, I keep this always on on my guitar bag, you know, that's out of the shot right now. But what do I have here? I have a regular Phillips right here, so I'm gonna keep this in the front right there. I have the truss rod adjustment, which is the regular Allen wrench that Fender includes with their guitars. I have... Bro, I lost all of mine. <laughs> you lost all of them? Well, <laughs> but usually they're, some of them have the same size, but be careful. Some of them have a smaller one or a bigger one, depending on the guitar bend, right? And then this is for your saddles, this is for your bridge, right? This is to adjust the string height. Again, if you don't know how to do this stuff, do not mess around with it. Take it to your technician. Even I, as someone who's been playing for quite a few years, I still take it with the technician. Not because I don't know how to do it, but because uh, I prefer someone setting it up. It's just safer. Or, it's it's safer and you know it's in good hands, right? So that's the tiny little Allen wrench. And <laughs> this I use on a daily basis pretty much because all my all of the people who know me and gig know that my volume knob is my best friend and uh, I use it quite a bit so even right now it's a bit loose right so to be able to maintain it yeah because there's a hex nut underneath so and that loosens up the more you're sliding it on and off and stuff like that so to be able to do it let me demonstrate real quick uh, this isn't a problem for guitars that have the regular one it's not as common the, the plastic knobs but just a quick little demonstration right now all I have to do pop it and there you go so it has a little screw there as you can see it's grimy because your fingers have the natural ones right yeah. but yeah, let me just screw that back on and let's get back onto the video so what other products besides the hardware side of things what products do you have on your side August? Well, without knowing it, I really have that Music Nomad setup, man. <laughs> He's not sponsored, but he's still got a lot of yeah. this stuff. I really thought I, I really thought I had more Dunlop stuff, but no, dude. Basically, my whole maintenance kit is <laughs> Music Nomad. So maybe they should sponsor me. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I mean, if you're gonna get anything from Music Nomad, you have to get. Trust this. me, that thing is. This really is useful. something so useful. Like I would get it only for this side because this gets into the hard to reach places like for your dust. Like this guy has some nasty dust buildup right here by his bridge. 
by his pickup, and that's where this part comes in. You can scoop it and go under your fretboard. If you want to go all the way, I recommend you loosen your strings first. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go. <laughs> because, you know, even this is kind of pushing it. Yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> Let's go further. No. <laughs> this bike guitar we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This end is pretty useful. I mean, you could get the same effect using a, a microfiber cloth, which I think he has on the side right there. And But this is just a lot easier to work with, you know, clean the board, clean the body, blah, blah, blah. We'll, we'll get into some more products. But this side is the real, this is the real bang for buck right here. This is, they advertise it as camel hair. Whatever kind of hair it is, it's just, the horse hair. It's just <laughs> it works so well because there's no way you'll ever be able to get your hands or a microfiber cloth in here and even if you could it's gonna take you so much more effort unless you you actually take off the strings which uh, before we get into all the rest uh, I know we're talking about maintenance but maintenance is really easy especially if you're doing a string change it's way easier to do all your yeah. maintenance then because when the strings are on you have tension you can't really get into the, the nooks and crannies of everything but but yeah so for that case though the camel hair is really good for those little Dude, tiny spaces. It like, just goes through. This. It just goes away. Like the camera can't pick it up, probably. But there is so much dust falling right here. <laughs> it's it, it's almost like honestly, man. Like that may have been a skid, but this thing has been needing some maintenance. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's due so for a string change up. as well, but we're just not going to do that. So let's say right here. Uh, for example, this is really common since it's metal. It's going to attract it a lot. You're going to see a lot of the dust right here in between. It might be hard on camera to catch it, but there is quite a bit of build up there. So, already. Yeah, yeah just go out there mercilessly. It's just like pieces of hair. You'll be fine. It's stuff from the air. I mean, don't, you don't blame yourself for that type of stuff. One little disclaimer though, I bought my little brush like years ago and Music Nomad has released um, an updated version. Uh, the only difference being that in their packaging they have a smaller version of the very same thing so that you can get into like places like this. Where, very small. Where, the, yeah, where this wouldn't fit or if you're having a little bit of trouble here, they have a smaller version and you can just get in there. A lot more simpler than this ginormous thing right here. This is for more uh, general clean. Like you could even go in here if you wanted to for for semi hollows. And, yeah. But that's for the the dust stuff, which is which is really nice if you're not trying to get too deep into your cleaning. But what if like this case right now, where a brush is not gonna handle the like grease stains here? It's not grease. It's natural oils from your hands and stuff like that. We're we're all human. We all have those kinds of stuff. Um, you know, the grime on here, especially since this is a red guitar, I feel really bad for people with black guitars as well because that you can see everywhere. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> There's a whole line where August drew that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so for this type of stuff, there are some handy products that are really nice. From what I use, right, from first things first, get yourself couple of these you know if you maintain your car you know you have your, your microfiber cloth same thing with your instruments this is not exactly for guitars but it is a like for a cleaning type of surfaces like this right it has uh, a rougher end and then the, the one that brings out the shine it's used for the metal stuff you know the metal components this is an actual Dunlop cloth that came in with my 65 equipment which I'll show a case right now so you'll see these if you take it to a guitar, if you take your guitar to a guitar tech or someone who's gonna give your guitar a setup or something like that, you'll definitely see this stuff. If it's not this, then it's Music Nomad uh, equipment. So this is called 65. Uh, I bought these separate. I know that Dunlop has some packages where it includes uh, all of them. I got packs of five or six. Yeah, I got this at Sam Ash when Sam Ash was still on DeSoto and Lost I think it was on. Yeah, yeah, but so you can see the 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 glue is starting to like <laughs> break off. This lasts an eternity. I haven't met anyone yeah. who has emptied these out. I think this you would one, only empty it if you were a tech. This is like like what maybe a quarter, and this barely touched the surface, right? So this is a, a guitar body cleaner. So this I, I recommend a lot. Very useful. It's 
great to loosen up all the grime and stuff like that. You use it on the body. No worries with the metal components. It's designed for that. I like to use this especially when I take off the strings because I can reach everything and you know evenly distribute the product. So the way you use it, you spray it onto your cloth. Never spray this stuff directly unless it tells you. Right? Never do it. It's Typically usually on a cloth. Do. It's on a cloth, right? You're not gonna break your guitar if you do it, it's just not recommended, right? So you spray it on a cloth like that. Let's say, let's take this for example, or uh, you know, I fold it into fourths, you know, this microfiber's been through stuff, right? <laughs> you, so, you should have a microfiber dedicated for your guitar. So it's I, just, I use this one usually for, for uh, my body, so that's why it's like that. So what you're gonna do, you spray it, Come at it and look at that. It just loosens, it looks a million times better on it. It loosens the grinds. You, you'll have to go on some like places, you'll have to maybe reapply a little more and go at it with a bit more strength, depending. Look, if you dirt if you know you if you sweat a lot and stuff like that, this should be a daily a daily routine for you. Uh, because the more you leave the grime on your guitar, the worse it is. A lot of these stains are coming out because we recently put them on. Yeah. Before the video, we uh, we assigned a very special individual to just beat up my guitar, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. The, we had a fun time. Now some of the stuff that's accumulated, uh, it'll take a little while. So once you pass through it like that, you pass through the whole thing. Obviously, because of time, we're not going to do it. Then what I like to do is I take a dry side of it and then I polish it up just to pick up any excess grease or stuff that might be on. But already, from where I have passed this thing already, you can see the grind is gone. That is the paint texture. There. You want to make sure that there isn't any dust on it as well because believe it or not, that can scratch your finish on the yeah. guitar. Which is why that is really useful. Uh, I don't usually do it, but it's recommended to do it. I do. It, I don't do it because I'm lazy. But <laughs> what they do recommend Shame. is get a towel or a separate microfiber. You, you gotta accumulate a lot of these. How many do you have? I have three. Ten. You have ten. Yeah. Ten. For different reasons. Oh, okay. I was like, you have ten. How dirty is your guitar? <laughs> okay, but I have three dedicated for guitar. Uh, so what? What I used to do a lot, and they do recommend it, is to pass through with water first. So get a towel and then put a little bit of water and pass through, then use product, right? Because what you want to remove first is the dust, because again, it could scratch your guitar paint or your finish, and we don't want that, right? And then you pass through with product, which is going to loosen up the oils and stuff like that. But that is... 65 over here, I put it yeah. down. I'm, we're gonna start putting the products up here just so that you can see them. So this is 65. Yeah, yeah. Music Nomad has its uh, counterparts as well. This is called the Guitar Detailer. It's basically the same thing as this. So honestly, it's the same thing pretty yeah. much. I mean, they can only make guitar cleaner so many ways, right? So. There's no reason. It's mostly to water if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, probably. A is. lot of these products are mostly water. Uh, well, some of the ones that are coming out uh, after are a bit different, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but for this is from what we use, right? So this is another 65 product. The 65 line is beautiful, so yeah. you can check them out. It's very common to see it. This is lemon oil for fret fretboards. So this is only if you have rosewood guitar uh, next. Rosewood is the darker wood, so any any dark woods, yes, that's a great example of it. And the I reason need some right now. they need it a lot, that one, now that we mentioned it, needs it. This because really what, what this uh, product does is, for rosewood, it pops up the, the wood. It gives it life, it, it, it gives it the, the, you know, the shine and the darkness. That, that the natural would have, you know, it's pretty difficult to describe, but once you use this, you're going to want to use it all the time. Again, the only bad thing about this is if you overuse it, you can ruin your wood. Yeah, so, you should do it maybe once a year. So once, well not once a year, just like once you like set up your guitar, then you go at it. It's not something, and I don't think you can use it like when you have the strings on, right? No, but if you're someone who changes your guitar strings, you know, every three months or every five months, you know, some people, depending on your use case, right? I rip strings like if nothing 
you know, it's a, it's a me scenario. So I don't use this all the time. I use this every like three string changes. Um, oh, that's his. The reason why I use it on mine though, because a lot of people are in the comments are gonna be like, hey, but yours is a, yours is a maple neck. Why are you using that? The reason why is because mine isn't finished. Mine is not a finish. It doesn't have a gloss. It doesn't have gloss. This is bad on gloss. Don't use it on gloss. Never on gloss. Right, so the way you use this, if you open this, I think my end is like, Nasty. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this little cloth right here, right there, is gonna accumulate all the, the oil and then you dab it on. I would dab it five frets in just so that and you can work at it. And then once you dab it, just take a, another microfiber cloth. I suggest don't mix up your products, you know, don't use the same one on the body as you would there because the cleaners are different, right? That's so, why I have 10. Yeah, so so once you dab it on the first five, then you you work at it, you know, on, on this guitar. Because I have uh, sweaty hands, I do accumulate a lot of grime, so I already know for my next string change, I have to go at it with a little bit of this. Uh, of course, because it's maple, not going to revive much, but, uh, and to get the grime, it loosens the grime very nicely. So that is 65 lemon oil there. I don't know if, if you have a counterpart there. Uh, not for that. No. Not for that. Uh, what exactly is that guitar polish? Is that for the body or like a conditioner for the body? Oh yes. Yeah, this is for like, uh, your more metallic side of things. Oh, okay. and I, from what I understand, this thing was really amazed me actually. I, on my guitar, I don't know why, but my like screws, like these types of screws over here, they are rusted. And I put some of this on and it came back to like, they were like brown rusted and it came back to like that silver shine. Oh, and that's really important too because I, I, I don't have a product for that. And I do think now that he mentioned it, I might stop to my guitar center and get one because that is common, especially with hardware, uh, because hard, uh, uh, metalware, because everything metal, it rusts because oxygen, you know, contact. Yeah, so yeah, it's nice. What I did in the past was replace all the screws because I didn't did know that, really? yeah. Not on this guitar, but my other guitar, uh, I did replace all my, my screws. These are original screws, but now that I mentioned it, they are rusted up, so that would be really nice to use. So that, for metalware. Pretty I'm not going to do it right now, but yeah. I'm pretty sure you can use it elsewhere, but it works very well for metal. metalware. Yeah, so then again, once again, I'm going to repeat. Try to dedicate your own uh, uh, separate microfiber if you don't have that many because we're already talking what like three microfibers already we're three microfibers in <laughs> so it, it, what you want to do let's say if i use this side for the body try to flip it over and then use the opposite side the complete opposite side for a different product if you don't have enough um, that happens with me because uh my other microfiber is in my gig bag and if i don't have my gig bag with me it's kind of hard to access it so so yeah i i just flip it over and then use it right so right now we're not going to go into whole detail of the, of the thing right but this next product is a life changer. If you're someone who uses Ernie Ball strings, Diodario strings, you know the main problem with these strings is they rust. Because they're strings, so they rust. And I still use this, believe it or not, I use it on Elexers, only not so often. Because again, uh, the difference is that Elexers are known because they have a coating that's anti-rust. It makes it anti-rust. So you don't have that problem. I use it only because of grime, because then again, I have sweaty hands. So it's inevitable my guitar is gonna get like uh, it's gonna get sticky. So I clean it up quite often, right? But this, if you use Ernie balls or Diodarios, it's gonna save your life because I used to use Ernie balls and I would complain three days into a string change because I felt that it was already getting stuck. <laughs> it's, it's annoying because it's rusted over already. I mean, there's no better feeling than having fresh strings, right? But it, it's inevitable. Your strings are gonna rust. This revives it. So what this is gonna do is a string cleaner and conditioner. So what you do, pretty much the same little dabby thing as always. Uh, Dunlop does this with the majority of the products. So what you do, you dab it on to, here, let me, with this for example. It right? has its own little cloth. You, you dab it on, well mine didn't, I bought this with like six bucks by itself. So what you do, you dab up a little bit and then some people like to let their products sit in 
I just go at it. <laughs> so what I like to do is like grab the string, if that makes sense, and then pass through it, just so you can get all the edges of string. But this is a lifesaver if you use that. I know August has a, a counterpart from Nomad, and it's a bit more convenient. <laughs> yeah. So this is the string fuel from Music Nomad. It also comes with a microfiber cloth in here, but I lost it. Oh. So, <laughs> so <laughs> that's quite a shame for me, right? But it, it's essentially the same thing. It just has a really long edge, and you can cover all the strings at once. Look at that. Quite easy. You do have to like uh, push with, it down. With all the bad products, it's like that yeah. because the. It's convenient the, the the way that they promote it, right? That you just dab it up and the the thing there it soaks the liquid. But it, it can take a few strength. tries. Depending on how much you use it. My lemon oil is like on command, it comes out, right? Uh, the this one takes a few dabs for it to, to start soaking up the 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 actual conditioner. The, that one it looks like the same situation, yeah. right? So depending on how frequent you use the mechanism, it will change, but it was not this dirty, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's strings were nasty. <laughs> yeah, so uh, then again, because of the, the whole setup right here. But so, yeah, so string cleaners right here, lemon oils right here, uh, body and stuff like that. I I don't know if Nomad is safe for the fretboard not the board not the board okay yeah same same situation this is not recommended use for your fretboards the actual fretboard you can use it for the back of yeah, yeah yeah for the It'll back for the headstock for the body for the hardware all this is gonna be great but if you can get a dedicated metal cleaner if for your screws trust me all that hardware is very nice they advertise this as to bringing out the shine so it could honestly be paired up with these two right here, but this is more of a, a pasty um, solution, I guess. Here, let's take it a little bit. There we go. We <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, it's more, of a, it's more of a pasty solution. Is it yeah, it's shot. Alright, uh, but it works. Like some techs, I noticed they use this type of stuff, and hey, they know what they're doing. I yeah. tried it myself, and it works wonders. So that's the only difference here. There's an interesting smell too, but um, <laughs> it works yeah. great on your uh, screws or anything, and brings out the shine once again. Uh, hand me that microphone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll use this to clean his uh, his screws in a bit. Yeah. So. So all of this stuff is really useful. There's one more last thing, but this is more for when you remove your strings. I recommend you use this because when your strings are on, it's a bit difficult to clean yeah. what your actual frets, like the metal frets, and that product is really nice for that. What is that exactly? So this is a fine fret polishing kit. It, uh, I think it came with uh, some lubricants for the nut. But I don't remember, I think that might be sold separately. I don't remember. But this is fret polish. Uh, frets meaning the actual metal bar right here that divides, you know, the space yeah. up. The actual metal frets. The actual metal frets. It comes with these little things as well. So obviously the strings will be off when you're doing this. But it isolates the fret so that you can uh, put it on and then polish up that fret real nice. Get it shining again. Uh, different guitars have different consistencies, so this is a little less thick. It, it, it fits just about right. And then this one is really thin. I don't think it's gonna fit. I doubt it's gonna it's fit. It's not gonna fit. It doesn't even fit your. Like, well, all the frets are the same. They're, they're the same size. I think it's, oh, okay. this guitar has jumbo frets, which is why that one fits, which is yeah. standard for a lot of fenders, but depending, again, depending on your guitar, depending on the guitar. it's gonna make it. They, they cover their bases pretty well. Yes. And, yeah. Uh, you could probably use the guitar, this guitar polish right here from uh, Music Nomad, but they advertise this as their fret polish. So if you really want to go for you know the advertised fret polish, you could do that. And please do not wing it. If you do get this and intend to clean your frets, please don't wing it without the actual tools. This immediately, before you continue, this immediately says don't get it on the fretboard. 
Yeah. It's fine if a little gets on, but don't. Yeah, it will ruin your wood. Destroy it. it will ruin the wood finish. So please do not use it. Do not be smart and say, <laughs> I'm gonna win this, right? It's that better, was my mistake. It's better, you know, spend a little bit more, or, well, the package comes with it, right? So get the little tools to be able to do that. Uh, one advice I could give you is wear and tear is normal. It's the normal life of it. My guitar expires way quicker than usual because I do get this guitar quite frequently. So this is a daily driver. I mean, we're talking around three gigs per week. And nice. so, so yeah, so it's a pretty work heavy guitar. So what I notice myself doing a lot is having to loosen these up and tighten it back in. Like for example, this one right here, I think I said this before, I'll have I'll find myself having to do this and sometimes my the musician friends around me are just like, what, what are you doing? Why are you breaking the guitar? Because then I have to tighten this righty tighty, right? And then put this back on. My advice if you have the metal things, leave a little gap, otherwise you're not gonna be able to turn. <laughs> so same thing, this can come loose after time, after if you're someone who's constantly switching it, you'll see this loosen up. So make sure to have a Phillips for those. Uh, your bridge, no problems there. Your hex nuts up here, you'll notice when you do loosen your strings that sometimes they loosen up. I don't know if it's happened on you. I think it's happening currently. <laughs> yeah, that. so what you go, uh, one little tip, if you're a skater, if you skate, use a T-tool because it's the same size. That's how I do it. I have a T-tool because I used to skate. Nice. So I use that. I use a T-tool I never for skate. That. Yeah, so for these, uh, don't over tight though. That is bad for the wood. So do not over tight. Just tighten enough so that it's secure. Same thing with those. Because if you over tighten, if you use a drill bit, you're going to go into the wood. So don't do that. <laughs> don't do that stuff. And, and thank goodness I can't say trust me from experience, right? So uh, yeah. Don't over tighten your stuff, just tighten just enough to go there. Advice for the for the nut itself, um, what I've seen some people do, and I do this sometimes, is uh, when when you take off the strings, you can take a pencil and draw in between the grooves. Oh yeah, it the helps, graphite. Yeah, the graphite helps the strings move around. So yeah. it's, it's a good, I don't do it frequently, but if you're having trouble when you're tuning your guitar and it's slacking, yeah, it try to put a little slip. bit. Yeah, and then there's other nitpicky products here and there, but these are the basics. If you get this, you'll be good for a long time. I, I use these on a daily basis. I don't find myself needing any other specific product. But yeah, get yourself a lot of microfiber cloths and get yourself some products just to loosen up the dirty work. Like Bare minimum, microfiber, and something for your If you could only get, if you only have a couple bucks laying around, I would recommend 65 or Music Nomad guitar cleaner and a microfiber cloth and you should be good for the main stuff. If your second purchase, you can buy a little more, get yourself some uh, of this. On the, if you if you haven't finished, don't get it. Don't get it. Just with a microfiber cloth and a little bit of water, you can go through with it. But yeah, with that being said, that's a few tips. I know we baited a few of you guys with the thumbnail. That's 15 products. Sure <laughs> that's a lot of advice we've given you, but hopefully you can keep your product, you can keep your guitar nice and tidy and look like a rock star at your next gig. So it's been Absolutely. Joseph here. And it's been August here. And see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys.